Okay, so I don't know if I've ever showed this in a video before, but basically what we're going to be doing today is working on the actual mounts for the Ford AD in the Miata rear subframe. So what we have here is some drawings that somebody on the V8 Miata forums has put up. They're basically CAD drawings with all the dimensions and stuff we need. So we've got the dimensions for this plate right here, as you can see. And I think I marked these wrong, so we're gonna check this and possibly remark it. This drawing, and this drawing right here. I don't know if we can really see those. So these are for the pedestals right here, two inch square tubing. And if you can see here in the picture, let's see if I can get this focused on it. There we go. It's got like a cutout right here where it goes around the subframe. I don't know if I'm going to be doing it that way or if I'm going to kind of cut a hole in the subframe and sit these down into it and then weld all the way around. I haven't decided that yet. And then these pieces are just the caps for these pedestals. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of tack them on and then take my plasma cutter and just cut this off flush here. And I got two of those. And the one thing I do still have to make is these L bracket stands. They're just out of three by five angle iron. They have a couple holes in them and this like little notch right here. And there's, there's two of them and they're reversed. Let's see. Yeah, so there's one and then there's the other. And you can see how they're kind of reversed of each other. So first thing I'm gonna do is check the dimensions on here. And as long as this is right, I'm gonna start drilling the holes out. Okay, so I was a little off on these holes. Basically what I did was I just put them equal distance apart and equal distance from the edge. So they were sitting at about, I think two inches, this is nine inches overall in length. In length. They were sitting two inches off each edge and yeah, five inches roughly apart. So yeah, that'd be your nine inches. They're, it's actually supposed to be offset this way a little bit. So it's only one and 1.28 inches off this edge two and a half inches off this edge and a little over five inches apart. Sitting at right around five and uh, three sixteenths or so, one and three sixteenths apart. I just converted it to millimeters because this goes down finer in millimeters, but whatever. So yeah, that's how far they're supposed to be apart and in their new locations. And they're gonna be about a half inch hole on each one. Okay, so I think I got everything measured out for now. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut out a little bit of this on each side where these holes are gonna be. 
and then clean everything up and kind of tack this into place. It's going to go right about there. And then I'm going to assemble the towers for the front. So I'm going to probably I'm going to get some hardware. I'm going to weld them all up. And then I'm going to assemble it onto the diff and I'm going to set the diff on here and try and figure out exactly where these are going to go, get everything straight, get everything mounted. Um, I'm going to have to cut the, the the L brackets for the back too, but that's not a big deal. The plasma cutter should... Stuff's a little thick for my plasma cutter, but it should work fine, I guess. Oh, another thing that I don't really know if it was intended this way when it started or when this this setup, this design was created, but I want to say that the probably intended use was to put nuts on the back of this, kind of like these, and then have them in here. Like I said, cut this out and have them in there. But I'm going to go kind of above and beyond. I'm going to make a nice hole here and here, and then drill some holes that line up with everything on the top. And do another plate, maybe not this thick, uh, maybe this thick, I don't know, but do another kind of plate on top. So that way when I bolt everything together, it'll be nice long bolts, but it'll be basically sandwiching everything together around the subframe, not just attached to this plate and pulling on the welds and pulling on the plate. So it should be, that should make it stronger and less likely to have the diff fall out of the car. I've, I've thought about maybe doing that with these pedestals, but I think that's gonna be way too long and where the hole is probably gonna end up right here on this curve, it'd be very difficult to get a bolt from the backside through it. So these I'm gonna have nuts on them and I'm just gonna have to kind of hope that it doesn't, that it doesn't break. If it does, we can fix it. But, so yeah, I'm probably gonna go get some, run to the hardware store, measure out real quick, figure out what bolts and nuts I'm gonna need, and then run to the hardware store and try and pick up some stuff so I have a way to assemble it as I'm welding and get everything in the right spot and deal with that. So I think I'm going to wrap this video up here. We have all of our brackets completely done enough to install the diff into the subframe. As you can see that the two L brackets here, the holes are in them and these brackets are actually different because as you can see the two holes there are offset closer to the diff. The only other modifications that might happen with the brackets is cutting them kind of at an angle just so it looks a little cleaner and you don't have like these sharp edges or maybe I'll just box this all in for more support I doubt it needs it but we'll see how it goes these I can actually see kind of how it works so they go up through all the way through the subframe through this plate that'll get welded this is just part of the one of the bushings from the front it's, this isn't very tight right now through the L bracket and then a nut and a washer. This bushing in here is just the top half of this one. And I'm gonna order some like the energy suspension, like polyurethane ones probably. Two sets of these for the front. So one set obviously will go in the front here. And then I'm gonna make the holes in this a little bit bigger to fit this. And then these will go in here and I'll have to get longer bolts for that but it should be nice and solid without being completely solid if that makes sense now none of this is welded I'll do all that in the next video get everything kind of more permanently mounted to the subframe 
I don't want to weigh the subframe, see how much weight we actually picked up, not including the diff, but uh, this is the stand on the front. I still have to cut the subframe for it, but you can kind of see how it's going to sit on there. Kind of like that. The bolt will go down through here and into this pedestal that's going to be welded onto the subframe as well. And that's pretty much how it's going to look. So I'm glad to be finally making progress on this. This was something I wasn't really looking forward to. Just trying to get it sent, everything centered, which I think I got pretty well done. I think I centered it decently well. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed and until next time, just keep building.